Saved and spy, so should die. I hope everyone's well. We've not said that in a while, have we? Saved and spy. Okay, right, today what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be giving you some advice on living here. Now, I know that we did the top tips before, but you need to, you need to understand this advice is continuous, okay? The longer I'm living here, the more things I'm realising and I want to also, you know, pass down to you lot so you understand it before you move here, okay? Because you've got to understand this place, Cambodia, at the moment, it's an amazing place to live and it is a massive hotspot in Southeast Asia, okay? A lot of people are moving to Cambodia, okay? So before you do, go away fly. Before you do, just tune into what I'm saying to you, okay? And, and, and take this information in. Believe me, you're going to want to hear it, okay? So, so dai bong. Socks are by day. Haha, <laughs> have fun. Okay, so first of all, they do things different. There is things that these do that are slightly different to what we do in England, okay? And the US. Now, to say come here, okay, in England, we do that, okay? They don't do that in Cambodia. That's rude. That means you're treating them like an animal. You do, you know, that's like come here doggy or it means fight, okay? To say come here, they do that, yeah? Which is really confusing, I know, because, you know, th that means go away. Where I'm from, that means go away, you know, go away, Jen Schnei, go away. And it's really confusing. I found out the hard way, okay? I'm trying to book a taxi to Battambong. I'm like, that's it, uh, to the taxi driver across the road. I'm like, I'm like, excuse me, taxi. And he starts doing that to me and I'm running off. I'm like, all right, okay. And he's like, bong, bong, he's chasing me. I'm running that way. I'm like, what, what the hell's going on? It turns out that means come here. He wants me to, yeah, I'm, I'm the taxi driver getting me taxi. I just thought he was chasing me. So yeah, that means come here, okay. I don't know what go away means. I think they just say Jen Schnei, but that means come here, okay. So get used to it. You don't, be, you don't wanna be going round here doing that to people especially if you work in a school i learned the hard way as well i was doing that come here kid it, it, it look <laughs> let's fight <laughs> i didn't know okay now if you're english you understand the meaning and the purpose of the two fingers when we do that it basically means that okay something to do with the french they used to cut our archers fingers off and we do that to show to the french i don't know i'm, I'm not going to go into it okay but that in england means that round you know but here it means freestyle, it means peace, okay? That basically means that, you know? So, on one of my vlogs on the Song Kran, and all, all the, you know, it was actually over there, you know, when everyone's getting in the camera, you know, every uh, Sosa Daichi and Mai and all that, but they're all, they're all doing that as well. And my uncle seeing it, and he was like, God, they're, they're cheeky, aren't they? Who, who are they telling to F off? What, what are they? I was like, no, no, Terry. I'm like, it, 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 means, it means freestyle, it's okay. <laughs> You know, so he, 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 thought, he thought they would all tell me to F off. So that's just, obviously, that's, um, that's just something you need to know. If you're English and doing that to you, it, it's not an insult, okay? But also, if you're Khmer, you just know that, you know, it, this in England means the middle finger. I'm not doing that just to swear intentionally, but, it, it, you know, it's something you need to know. Okay, next bit of advice is going to be on visas, okay? I've had this requested quite a few times. You've got to understand the reason I've been hesitant to do this is because everyone's different with the visas, okay? Now, I'll tell you this, I'll go for, for me, if you're English or American, it's a lot easier for you, okay? For me, one year was just over $300, okay? Now, find a company that's going to do the administration for you. If you're working here, ask them to do it. And then the extra, the extra 20 bucks or whatever added on top will be the admin fee, okay? But you do want someone to do it for you, okay? If you want to do it yourself, fine, okay? But you're going to be jumping through hoops, okay? It's just better getting a Kamai to do it, okay? Because it is, it, like, like I said, the, the place is just a massive haggle. Okay, it really, really is. So you've got to be careful. Now, if, you're, if you've got white skin and blue eyes, it's going to be a lot easier for you to get your visa, especially if you're English or American. If you're South African, it is harder to get your visa sorted. That doesn't mean you're not going to get it, okay? Just from my friends I know, I've got a lot of South African friends because there's loads of you here, okay? It is harder to get your visa. That doesn't mean you're not going to get it. Also, if you're black, it's even harder. Now, I'm not going to expand on that because I'm not going to say Cambodia's racist, but it, my, my black friends, they had an even harder time getting their visa, okay? So, that's, an, that's even more of an incentive to get someone else to do it, okay? Get someone else to do it. Just find a company and say, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you 20 bucks if you go and send it off. Just get them to do it. You want to come I doing it, okay? Otherwise, it, it, it might, you might get shafted. It might take you longer. 
okay? And I'm sorry, I can't really give more information because it, it, it is different for everyone, okay? But the price is usually around $300 plus an, an admin fee if you get someone else to do it, okay? And then it's just a matter of how long it's going to take to get and where you need to go to get it and how much of a ball ache is it to get, okay? And like I said, if you're white-skinned with blue eyes, it's and you're English or American, it's a lot easier, okay? I'm not saying Cambodia's racist, that's not what I'm saying. It just, it is what it is. Basically, you're going to have to change your skin colour before coming here. Last little bit of advice, I want to talk about bikes, okay? Because this is being requested as well, about the bike shops and stuff. And I know in the past I've said, buy a dirt bike and stuff like that, and I've got one, I'll, I'll show you it in a bit, okay? But now, after I've been here for a while, okay, I wouldn't get one. Okay, it, it, it was it was a mistake, I got a taste for it. it. It's great to ride, don't get me wrong. The reason I'd advise not to get one is because the mechanics around here aren't that good. Now, I don't want to go to round, round these mechanic shops and start showing you them why they're not good because, you know, they are providing them business and they're trying to feed the family, but it is what it is. Not all of them. If you go to Phnom Penh and Siem Reap and the bigger cities, okay, with the bigger expat communities, the, the mechanics are better, okay, they are, but around these rural areas, I'm just going to be honest, they're terrible, they're absolutely terrible. I've been ripped off so many times with it because I, I, I don't believe the mechanics, I believe they're just fitters, okay? If you go with a problem with your bike, they are going to take it apart and completely butcher it. They don't care what part they're putting in your bike, okay? And then it's going to break countless amounts of time after it. This is just from my experience and I've spent so much money on my, on my dirt bike because of it. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about now using my dirt bike as the perfect example. Here we go, here it is. Honda. Suzuki. Honda. Suzuki. Bastards. Obviously this was my fault, maybe I should have done some reconnaissance before I got the dirt bike, okay? now. You'll know, you'll know the mechanic shop's bad, okay? If there's a load of kids working in there and the place looks a shithole, then don't go. However, if it's tidy and, you know, it's clean and the bikes that they're working on um, replicate the same bike you have, then it's probably a good shop, okay? And they're probably going to know what they're doing, but this is my fault. I took my dirt bike shop to people who don't have a clue about dirt bikes, okay? But they'll still do the job. They'll still butcher it. They're not mechanics, they're fitters. They'll, they will put any part in your bike, okay? And it's just something I've learned the hard way. It is what it is, okay? There is some shops that are good as well. Like I said, I found one now that that, um, that works well. Even with that, it still works, the bike. It's good, it, it, it still rides okay. But but that's just an example of what they do. They don't care, they're, they're, they're not asked, okay? Um, they'll just they'll just fit anything. So be very careful when you find the these shops. Good way just to avoid this is wherever you're located, wherever you... Um, Wherever you settle down, have a look at the most popular scooter or bike on the road, okay? And go for that one. That's the best advice I can give. The Honda Dreams around Spy seem to be very, very popular. The Honda Dreams, okay? There's actually one over there. I'll, I'll go and show you it. But they seem to be the most popular ones. Now, every mechanic, if you go to every shop, there's always these Honda Dreams outside. So every shop knows what to do. I'm guessing, okay, but if you go, to, you know, if you take your dirt bike into... A shop that's never seen dirt bikes you're going to get ripped off they're not going to turn around and say to you nah 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 I, I don't know what i'm doing i'm sorry they're just going to take it apart and they're going to fit something in that's not meant to go there and in the long run you're going to be getting ripped off okay like like i've been getting for the last month mm. i'll show you one of the honda dreams that i'm talking about like i said it's, it's it's your choice but this is just an example of a a popular motor Moto, scooter, we call them scooters in England, they call them motos. I don't know, it's got two wheels, who cares? Here's what I'm talking about, Honda Dream. Okay, they're very, very popular and they seem to be outside every shop. So if you get one of them, okay, you're probably going to be saving money and they seem easy to fix. So today, <laughs> you need to know what you're doing as well. Don't just, I don't know, I, I know how to ride these bikes, I'm, I'm not a mechanic, you know, so it's very easy to rip someone like me off, and I'm trying to sell that dirt bike at the moment, and people are asking me questions about it, you know, is it, 
as I've got a double exhaust chicken chow mein, double barrel shotgun beans on toast. I'm like, mate, I, I don't know. It's got to come and see it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know. I know it's a Honda and not a Suzuki. That's it. Come and see it. And that is it, folks. Okay, just some advice. Okay, the next one, I'm going to be going back. I'm going back to Pub Street. Okay, you know, because Pub Street is amazing. It's a great place to live. I'm joking. Okay, I'm sorry what I said about Pub Street. Look, it's a great place to visit. That's what I said. I, I, I just I just wouldn't live there, okay? But I'm going back. I'm going to do some things. I was disappointed in my last vlog, okay? It weren't really... I, I, I don't know. I, I shouldn't have um, I let my emotions get to me, so I apologise. There's things I want to do there and vlog, okay? I want to start doing things. This will be the last time I just talk for a while, okay? The reason I've been off, um, it's exams, okay? Busy, busy, busy. All systems go with exams, okay? Um, also... I'd like a cameraman. I, I, I'd really like a cameraman. The things I want to do, because there's loads of opportunities for me in these vlogs, okay? There's loads, but I, I really do need a cameraman, okay? It, it would make life a lot easier. So I'm just waiting out for them. So I apologise. Um, it's been quite quite a while since I posted. But please listen, um, you know, take the advice on, okay? Like, like I'm, I'm a normal guy. I make mistakes, okay? But I want you to learn from my mistakes too, okay? Anyway, look after yourselves. Some like, share, subscribe. I'll cut you on. I'll cut you bong. Some don't check my dick and you suck the bite, suck the bite day. Young now, been tame and shape, been tame and shape. Ah, jumbly player. I'll cut tight glue in. Brebra tempo. Jumbly player, Lehigh.